Now, I don't know if I'm remembering this correctly, but I, it's like um, we had a computer, had the internet, and boom, she types in Art School New Jersey, and what pops up? Ducre. And I remember that distinctly being like, what is that word, Ducre? Do, do what, you know? Kind of like making fun of it in a way. And she was like, come on, you know, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna call them, see, see what happens. So we came for an interview and I met Frank and sat at his desk and I had like a little portfolio of things, this little canvas, this little airbrush graffiti thing I did. And I feel like, and I don't know if this was even said or, you know, I, I felt like Frank could see something in it, you know? He said, oh, you know, yeah, this, this could be a good place for you, you know, to, to start and to learn the basics of, of what you're doing already, but just to make yourself better, you know, give yourself some sort of a future. So that was amazing. I was accepted to come. I came to Ducre. Oh, my God. Amazing. Um, my first year, the students were allowed to live upstairs. So there was, I'm not sure how many rooms, maybe there was 10 of us who lived here. And I was the only freshman who lived upstairs. So my first day, I, um, I came in and I saw a, a kid with dreadlocks. And I was like, oh, I like that kid. He'd probably be my friend, you know? So um, probably that night, I ended up talking to him. And his name was Keith Van Pelt. It was his senior year. And um, I remember walking into, I'm a cat man, first of all. Walked into his room, he had a cat. And Ducre, who just like walked around to the classrooms in the fine arts room, little Micah. And um, I went in his room and he had these paintings and he had like Bob Marley playing and you know, like drinking tea and talking about art. And I'm like, whoa, what the hell is this? You know, I've never experienced anything like this in my life. Totally a culture shock for me. 